Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope you had a really great weekend. I had a good weekend myself. Today I am sharing a just a little DIY that I have been doing for the last month now for my hair. Um, and you guys have actually been commenting on a few of my videos that you have noticed a difference in the um, like the shine or the overall health or look of my hair. And it makes me really happy to see those comments from you guys because I too have noticed kind of a big difference since I started doing this. And this is such an inexpensive, easy thing that literally anyone can do for their hair. This is so affordable, you guys. Um, it's rice water. That's right this is what I've been doing to my hair. So let me explain um, kind of the idea behind it, give you the recipe that I use, tell you how often I do it, the benefits that you can see, all of that stuff. So that's what we're discussing today. If you have ever tried this treatment yourself, definitely let us know in the comments down below what your experience is how often you do it, if it's something that you kind of go in and out of doing, or if it's something that you do on a consistent basis. For me, it's been very consistent for the last month because I just noticed, like I said, such a big difference in my hair. So this is not some new thing. This has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. People have used rice water to, um, to beautify their hair. Rice water is amazing for the skin. So lots of research out there about that. So obviously Google is our friend. You can go down that rabbit hole just like I did. And I can tell you, I'm really glad I did because man, has it had an impact on my hair. So let's talk about what rice water potentially does for hair. I did, sorry, I, I have to make notes guys. So uh, please bear with me. <laughs> So what can rice water actually do for your hair? So I have a list of some things here. Um, this is not like a completely exhaustive list, but these are kind of the most common um, concerns or issues that people address with rice water. So it can improve your overall scalp health. Um, it de can de help detangle the hair. It can make your hair smoother. It can increase shine. It can make your hair stronger. It can help your hair grow. It nourishes and repairs your scalp follicles. It can help with uh, repairing damaged cells. It can help with volume in your hair. And that's probably one of the biggest things that I've noticed with it. So there's just a whole host of um, you know, positive things that can happen when you start incorporating rice water into your hair care routine. So um, the reason that the white rice water is so beneficial is because it has a lot of vitamins and nutrients in it. So there's a lot of B1 and B6 in rice water. There is phosphorus, selenium, vitamin C, uh, magnesium, and the biggest one is, and hopefully I'm saying this one right, is inositol, which can actually help with the thinning of the hair. So if you are someone who is maybe going through menopause or you're in perimenopause and you're really starting to notice that your hair is thinning, maybe when you're in the shower and you're washing, you're noticing more and more clumps coming out. I don't really have um, a major issue with that per se because I do still take my City Beauty Complete Skin Restore supplements and um, those have really made a big difference on my internal health, which I think then shows in the health of my hair as well. So um, my hair is naturally gray. By the way, if you are new here, this, this is my natural color. I went gray very early in life. I'm 43, but I love my gray hair. I have no intention of ever coloring it. So I'm choosing to embrace this and make it as beautiful as it can be. So anything that I can do to make my gray hair look shiny, look smooth, look healthy, um, just look like you know everybody else's hair, <laughs> then I'm gonna do that. And this is, like I said, such an inexpensive way to do it, you guys. So there's a few different recipes that you can follow for this. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I do first is I actually prefer the fermented rice water over this like quick method that you can do. So the quick method is go get a bag of rice. It doesn't have to be any kind of special rice. In fact, this rice here is from a, 
a bag of rice that I bought at Safeway for like $1.50. Like just, you know, like a regular size bag of rice for like $1.50. I don't know how many pounds it is, didn't pay attention. Just regular white rice. Um, I don't know if brown rice makes a difference. I haven't gotten that far into the research. I just, I had some white rice on hand, so that's what I started with, and I noticed good results. So I just bought an inexpensive bag of rice because we, we do eat, how many times am I gonna say rice in this video? We do eat it at home as well, but I prefer like basmati or jasmine rice when I'm eating it. So I didn't wanna use like my nicer rice. <laughs> for this hair treatment. So I just got a cheap bag of white rice at Safeway. Um, so I put about a cup into um, a jar. So I do rinse it. I don't rinse it as thoroughly when as when I'm preparing the rice to eat it, but I do give it a rinse and then I put it in a container that I can seal. This is just from my Nutribullet. And then I cover that with cool water. And then I put this in a dark like cabinet. So for me, I just pop it in my pantry for up to 24 hours. And that is going to allow the rice to start to ferment. Um, I have left it in the cabinet for up to two days because I kind of forgot about it. And then um, I took the rice out. Um, it, I will warn you, when rice ferments, it does get a sour smell. So when it starts to smell sour, you know your rice has fermented. It is not a pleasant smell. I'm just gonna warn you that right now. You can certainly put some essential oils in it. I don't care, it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm just using it in the shower and I only smell it for a little time, so I'm okay with that. But after it ferments, what you wanna do is get your rice water and then put it in the fridge. So remove the rice at that point and I just toss it because it's been soaking. So, um, and then I put this in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. Now, when I'm ready to use it, I get it out and I do dilute it. So I take um, the same amount of water as I have after the fermentation. And then I add like a cup of warm water to that, not hot or anything. I just warm the water up a little bit. And then I get in the shower. I shampoo my hair so it's nice and clean and then I use actually this container because it has this really nice spout. Um, first thing I do is I take the lid off and I soak my ends just in the water. And I do bring, because obviously I ha I'm gonna have to refill this because I doubled the water, right? So I have the rest in another container just off to the side. Um, I have several of these Nutribullets, so I take this lid off and put it on the other one once I'm, you know, like I'll soak my hair and then I pour it all over my head. I let it run over my skin as well. If it's fermented, it is gonna be stinky. If you're just soaking your rice for like an hour or so before this treatment, you're not gonna have fermented rice. You still get the benefits, but I do think it's better to leave the rice sitting in the water longer to extract more of the nutrients from the rice. So that's what I like about the fermentation process is I do think it extracts a little bit more from the rice than just, you know, like the, uh, the initial like trace minerals and vitamins and stuff that come out of the rice. So um, I just pour this over my head until it's all gone and I sort of massage my scalp after that and I run a comb through my hair and I leave that in there while I'm shaving my legs. So usually I'm in the shower for about like 10, 15 minutes. Um, I do this at the very beginning. I let it sit on my head that entire time. When I'm ready to rinse it off, I put my head back under the water. I rinse it until it's cleared out of my hair. I use a little bit of conditioner to help with detangling. I do have really fine thin hair, so I don't find that this really does the best job of detangling my hair, but a little bit of conditioner in there, it also helps with that fermented rice smell, to be totally honest. Then I rinse the conditioner out, I get out of the shower, and I just do my regular like hair care routine. You guys, it makes my hair incredibly soft. So I did the treatment this morning. It makes, I. I have no real styling products in my hair. I did put a little bit of my whey heat protectant because I did blow dry it, but I don't have anything else in my hair. And look at how like it's shiny, it's soft, it's voluminous. Oh, you guys, it's just heavenly. It is, I really notice a difference in my hair. The shine, the body, the volume, the bounce, the just how like how nice my scalp feels like my scalp feels very clean but not tight or dry um 
I really do think this is having a fantastic effect on my hair. So I've been doing this once a week, usually on Sunday. So what I will do on Thursday is I will start fermenting my rice. I put it, you know, in the little cup here, I put it in the cabinet, and then I let it ferment for 24 hours, take it out, remove the rice, put it in the fridge, and then either on Saturday or Sunday, depending on what day I wanna do the routine, I take this from the, the fridge downstairs up into my bathroom and I do the routine and then I rinse it out and I've been doing that once a week and you guys I love what it's been doing for my hair definitely even less fallout my hair is easy to comb through and brush through it just it, I wish you guys could feel my hair it feels so soft this is so easy to do you guys I'll put the recipe in the description box down below but go do a little bit of research about rice water and the benefits for, again, not only your hair, but your skin as well. Um, I do think that when I, like I now purposely, when I pour it on my hair, I also let it go over my face and I'll do a little face massage with it as well. I'm not gonna lie, it smells. It smells like sour fermented rice. If you can't get past the smell, that method might be a little bit tough for you, but at least do the method where you're soaking it for like an hour or two. Um, you're not gonna have the funky smell if you do that. You can also, by the way, boil your rice um, and then boil it with uh, like two to three times the extra amount of water so it doesn't all absorb into the rice. And then you can pour off that rice water that's left over and you can use that as well. So if you wanna eat that rice after you cook it, you can do that and then you have the rice water to play with for your hair and for your skin. So you guys, overall for me, it's only been a month, but I this has become a beauty tr tradition for me every weekend now. It's just a part of my like spa day routine that I do every Sunday. And I just am really pleased with how it has sort of transformed my hair so far. And you guys know I was really happy with my hair. Like it has grown so long. In fact, I'm about to go get a couple of inches taken off. I really, I really need a trim and I kind of wanna play with the style just a little bit. I'm not cutting it super short again. I actually quite like having the long hair now. I just think it's been a while since I've had a trim and the time has come, but I really don't feel like I have split ends at all. It's not a case of split ends. It's just a case of, I just want to like freshen everything up. And I think even after getting that cut, I will do this treatment and just give myself kind of this really nice like hair experience and have a fun new cut, have some shiny, healthy hair. And again, you guys, this is so inexpensive. Let me know if you have ever tried rice water in the past. Let me know if you have a secret recipe for it. Um, for me, I think just this fermented route here is perfect. And um, like I said, it's really inexpensive. Just go get a bag of rice. You can get a bag of rice at the dollar store, right? Like try it, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if it makes a difference for your hair. So. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys uh, in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.